It's the round of 32 in the Hearts and Diamonds brackets. As you look at the matchups in this single elimination heads up No Limit Texas Hold'em tournament, you'll notice that these brackets are loaded with some of the most elite poker players in the world. And there you can see Academy Award nominated actor Don Cheadle, who gave us a performance to remember against Phil Ivey in the first round. I didn't think I was going to win until literally till the river, the very last hand. Just keep going and then say Don wins. All I know is that I was up early, then I started playing really tight and really scared. I'm all right. Is the microphone picking up my heartbeat? Then he uh, came back, and then I went back to how I was playing at the beginning and was able to, to prevail. Good job. I said, so that was your B game? He's like, yeah. I was like, well, I wasn't on my A game, so I guess my B game beats your B game. <laughs> Do I detect a bit of sass from Don Cheadle? Cool. I like that. I'll tell you what, beating Phil Ivey will give anyone some swagger. Somebody said Jack ate is Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, I never heard that. I hadn't heard it till the uh, other night either. I was like, oh. What, what makes Jack, oh, he, he Jack ate. Jack ate. Ah, it makes sense. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> this is a nasty one. Jack ate. That's, That's one I haven't heard before. One. Yeah, it might make sense. It's no less, uh, no more savory, that is. <laughs> And Fishman with 6-5. Wow, look at this. On cue. The Jack-8 and the flop brings top pair for Cheadle, pairing a straight draw for Fishman. It's some nasty karma, and I'll show you why in a minute. Though you could probably already figure it out. Wow, this is a dead giveaway by Don. He really shouldn't talk. Any information that he gives a pro is a huge disadvantage. Turns at three of diamonds. Well, what if he's just putting a, some misinformation out there? Well, that's true. He could be doing that. Or trying to do that. We know he has the jack eight. Cheadle bet 2,000. Fishman calls. We weren't supposed to call, Scott. Well, Fishman's got the bottom end of the straight draw and bottom pair. River's a queen of diamonds. And on check. That card doesn't help, Scott. Cheadle checked with his eights. Fishman checks right back. Don Cheadle with a pair of eights takes down the pot. I figured you had that. It's pretty sick, right? That is. That's sick. Nice hand. Don't take the pot. Let me call. Now let me say, what is the American Airlines? Now deal me that. Too. Uh, <laughs> now deal me that now. That's pretty funny. Isn't that sick? Our coverage continues here in the round of 32. The diamonds bracket and upsets were really the order of the day in the round of 64. Here at our feature table, we've got a couple of upset winners from the first round, starting with Don Cheadle, who scored an amazing, unprobable, unlikely victory over a guy who many people felt was the top player in the field, Phil Ivey. Bracket buster. That's the only two words I can come up with. I mean, who would have thought that Don Cheadle could have gotten through Phil Ivey? But he did get a lot of help from the pros who have a lot of experience with Phil Ivey. His approach was to be aggressive. He's an unpredictable guy. No one has any table time with him. So it'll be interesting to see how his second round match plays out. Well, Cheadle's opponent here in the second round also scored an upset victory in his own right. Scott Fishman beat Chris Ferguson in the first round. Ferguson had been the runner-up in the first two years of the event, making the final table. Talk about Scott Fishman's play. Well, he's a guy we haven't heard from for a while, but he's a very capable young player. And whatever it is that he did to best Chris Ferguson, who is widely considered to be an unreadable opponent, has to be working. If he can continue the trend, I'm sure he'll get past Don Cheadle and into the round of 16. Via the Outback pocket cam as play continues. Queen Jack for Don Cheadle. 2,000. It's going to raise to 2,000. 2,000 straight. Don raised Philip 2,000. Two and a half times the big blind with the blinds at four and 800. Suited King six for Scott Fishman. He calls. And the flop. Deuce eight Jack, a pair of Jacks for Cheadle. Jack eight again? No. <laughs> Fishman bets 1300. Uh, 1300. Yeah, Scott knows that his opponent is only going to flop a pair one out of every three flops. He's trying to pick up the pot. I'm all in. Oh, he might have picked the wrong time to do that as Cheadle moves all in. And it's a pretty big raise for Cheadle to move all in, but the less decisions that he has to make against a pro, the better for him. So Don Cheadle showing no fear. So we check in on a player certainly not afraid to talk trash at the tables. That is Mike the Mouth Matisau on the right. 
He's got a nice. pair of tens here nice. in his match against the grinder Michael oh, Mizraki. Tale of two Mikes. Uh, Big slick for Mizraki. Classic race situation in No Limit. And Mizraki raises it up to 4,000. Now, Mike just calls because he doesn't want to possibly take on a race this early in the match against a hand like Ace King. He could also be up against a bigger pair. Flop is 8 4 9. Save flop for Matisau. He's got an over pair to that flop. Small one. The grinder bets 6,000, and the mouth moves all in. Well, it's going to be fairly impossible for the grinder to call with just Ace King here. He did the right thing by making his continuation bet. Ms. Rocky folds and Matisau takes down the pot. Show me. You didn't have King. Show me, show me, show me your set. No, I had two tens, they were good. Don't worry. Oh. Nice. Nice. There's another look at Jamie Gold, who won the World Series title in 2006, but still may have something left to prove in the poker world. <laughs> I understand that people have some ideas that maybe I'm not uh, a very good poker player and I don't know how good of a poker player I am. I know I'm nowhere near as good as most of the best players in the world, but I believe that I played the best poker I could possibly play at the World Series. Give me about 10 years and then ask me if I'm a great poker player and if I've been able to put in enough time, hopefully I can become a great poker player one day. 10 years? We got to check back in 10 years? Oh, yeah, even Jamie knows that's a long time. <laughs> a five tray hand for him here. He calls. Gordon has suited Queen 7, a check. Computer hand, the average winning hand in Hold'em. And queen the seven. flop. Jamie pairs his five, but two pair for Gordon. And Gordon checks over to Jamie, who's going to bet with his pair. Gordon calls, turns a four of spades. Gordon tried to slow play, and the turn gave him a flush draw along with those top two pair, but Jamie didn't bite. So Phil bets out 3,500. Jamie raises to seven. Wow, this is super weird raise by Jamie. Oh, I'm in trouble. If he thinks Phil is bluffing here and a five is good, why not just call? Phil re-raises to 12,000 now. And Gold folds his hand. You can show bluff. <laughs> Maybe not that hand. But... Couldn't show bluff that hand. Uh, we're close now. Well, being aggressive is a double-edged sword. To watch previous episodes of the National Heads Up Poker Championship, log on to www.nbcsports.com slash poker. And now let's take a look at the upcoming broadcast schedule. Three more Sundays of poker coming your way as we move toward the round of 16. Catch all the Heads Up competition beginning at noon Eastern, 3 Pacific. Returning to the Heads Up action, Mike the Mouth Matisau and the grinder Mike Mizraki. Mizraki with a pair of eights and the mouth with suited Queen Trey. Grinder limping in here, trying to hit a set or make an over pair out of those snowmen. He can also earn credit for a big hand when limping on the button if he gets to show this down. Pair of queens for Matisau now. Now this is the downside of limping for the grinder. Safe to just check and call for Mike. No kicker or diamond in his hand. Turns a ten of spades. 2000. And after Madison check, Ms. Rocky bets 2000. Yeah, the mouth is letting the grinder follow through with that flop bet. The mouth calls. And another queen comes for him on the river. Check. Now the mouth knows it's very unlikely that grinder has the case queen, so his kicker's no longer an issue. Action back to Madison now after Ms. Rocky bet 3400. Rise. And the mouth raises to 8,000. Now the grinder's got to put the puzzle together. Is the mouth just pressing a busted diamond draw, or did he slow play the queen? In any case, he's getting four to one on a call. Not a queen. He calls, and Mattisau takes down the pot. Big pair. And shows three queens. Takes the pot. The mouth with a nice play there. He earned the maximum. 
We go back to Gabe Kaplan and Chad Brown, and Sean is joined with an interested spectator. I'm here with Vanessa Russo, Chad Brown's girlfriend. Vanessa, is